Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff with Workshop Addict and let's take a look at Ryobi's P750 18 volt hybrid transfer pump. Now this unit runs on Ryobi's 18 volt one plus batteries, but they recommend that you put a P108 or a four amp hour battery or larger in this unit. Uh, it's also run off of 110, which makes it hybrid, but it's unlike some of the other hybrid tools we've seen from Ryobi as this one actually has a transformer that you plug into it. Ryobi rates this at 200 gallons off of a 4 amp hour battery and about 325 gallons per hour. Now on our test that we did, we filled up a 32 gallon trash bin with water. We emptied it and we figure about 4 gallons per minute is what we got running off a battery, which is about 240 gallons per hour. So we've seen a little bit less than that running off battery. You do get a little more pressure running off of 110 power, so they're in there. Also, if the 200 gallons per, per 4 amp hour battery might be a little on the positive side from what we seen, we took our battery down to one bar in that 32 gallons, but we also did a lot of lifting. Yeah, there was a three foot vertical lift on it. So, and then we pushed it through about a 30 foot of hose. hose. So yeah, good pressure there though. This unit does have a thermal overload and a motor over temp. Uh, it also has a pump running dry warning. So if you have an issue with this, it will show you with a light flashing. So you have to be near this unit to actually see what's going on. And the unit comes with a spare gasket and impeller in case you wear one out. Yeah, so if you're using this, the big thing on that is to actually follow the instructions. It comes with some oil. So they say put two drops of oil in here before and after use. Helps keep the peller, impeller lubricated as it's spinning. And you also do have to prime this. It's not self-priming. But it primed very easy. Yeah, everything a little water and a hose and she took right off. Everything works great, good suction. Interesting little unit for Ryobi. If you're looking for one of these, it's definitely something to, to check out. You don't actually have to be in the 18 volt line to use it. You can just simply run it off of power. Mm -hmm. Stop by Workshop Addict. We can talk about this unit more in our blog or forum. Also check us out on social media. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.